Hey guys, how you doing? So, uh, if you don't know, my hair looks awful. There we go. But the Cowboys uh, will be playing the Rams. Okay. This Saturday, 8.15, something like that, Eastern Time. Uh, I'm already repping. Late in Van Dress, my boy. Um, but the thing is, the Dallas Cowboys have had the youngest team of this year. How great. That's something. Uh, that's not like a newsworthy thing. But yeah, I, I thought it was pretty neat just to be able to hear that. Hey, how you doing, Caesar? Uh, just to be able to hear that. Oh, so the Cowboys. Yeah, I get we aren't. We haven't been the best team. But we have the most. We have, we're the team with the most young players on it. Um, you look at the Patriots, they're always trying to get younger, better players, but they, they aren't that young. You got um, Steven Gostowski, I think he's like 35. Brady, who's like 40. Gronk, who's like 28 or something like that. Most of our players are 25. Uh, I think our oldest player is Sean Lee, and then our punter. So that's something big. And they're actually talking about sports right now. Patriots versus Chargers. That's going to be a good game. Um, but Dallas has the youngest team, which that's pretty cool. Uh, means we also could have a bigger future than everybody else because all of our players are so young. So just uh, be on the way for that. Um, also, the injury report has came out. We ain't looking that great on injuries. Uh, Dak is injured. Sean Lee is injured. Um, Noah Brown. A lot of people actually are injured. So, you know. Dak, he was full at practice. Thank God. Uh, it's just his knee. I don't know. Uh, Jeff Swain was... Or not Jeff Swain. Blake Jarwin was a little banged up, I heard. That's just great. Um, Cole Beasley, I don't think he's going to play. Um, that sucks because Cole Beasley, the, my favorite, uh, the best slot receiver in pro football. Um we got a pretty big injury report, but it still ain't. We, I don't know if Todd Gurley's playing, so I guess that's going to be good. Um, I don't know what happened to him. I think his knee's messed up or something like that. He was limited today at practice. Uh, I'll have to get the full injury report for both teams, and I'll give that to you later, probably around 7. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, Cowboys take on the Rams number two seed I think Philly taking on the Saints most likely gonna lose against them so what oh. so, we're gonna smack them in the mouth the thing is the only thing I'm worried about for, them, for the Rams is Aaron Donald Marcus Peters and Todd Gurley. Jared Goff, I ain't too worried about him. I'm not a big fan of Jared Goff. I think he's a little overrated. <clears throat> and if the Eagles could beat him at home, Dallas has more fans uh, in Cali than Philly does. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's, it's kind of like a home game for us. So uh, You're right. Todd Gurley doesn't play, I'm saying we're going to win no matter what. But if Todd Gurley plays, it's kind of a toss-up because Todd Gurley is basically their whole offense. And some people might say Zeke's our whole offense. Well, that ain't true because we got Amari Cooper, we got Cole Beasley, we got Zeke, and we got Dak. That's that's about it, though. That's about it. Um, that, that's really all I got for you guys. I'll give you guys full injury report with everybody and what their status is, so, you know, Zeke, right, right, Zeke is, he's just been dominating, 
Zeke can catch, he can run. Uh, Rams defense is actually not great. Believe it or not, they um, I think they were they didn't rank top fifteen in anything for the season. So, right, Cooper can get open, especially the thing is Marcus Peters. He's good. He's really good. But what's his age? How old's Marcus Peters? He's not what he used to be when he picked off Ryan Fitzmagic like fifty thousand times in one game. So. Against the Chiefs and Jets. It's just Fitzmagic 